Hey guys, this is Ryan at Knowledge Will Be Free. And today, we're going to show you how to set up a VPN or a virtual private network. What would you use a VPN for, you ask? You'd use it to bypass any website that's blocked on a firewall, or if you go to a school or a library and they have sites blocked, you always get past that with a VPN, and it'll always work. So, say I'm going to be showing you how to do that. I'm also going to be telling you about how they work. I'm going to be explaining to you how they work. Now, if you want to watch a video of just the tutorial itself and not me explaining how a VPN works, then you can click the link in the description or this link right here. But, if you want to just keep watching this, I'll show you how everything works. You know, that's what Knowledge Will Be Free is here for. We teach you. You learn. So now I'm going to tell you what a VPN is and how it works. If you don't want to learn about that, you can skip ahead to how to set one up. So what is exactly a VPN? The term VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. A VPN is a private network that usually uses the internet or some other public network to let you privately connect to the internet. So basically, when you're using a VPN, you're using the internet from the VPN company's network instead of yours. Now remember, you are still using the network you're on to connect to the VPN, but you are not using it to connect to the sites on the internet because you're using the VPN services network. So now you can bypass your firewall because you're not using your network anymore. You're now using the firewall being used by the VPN, which will usually allow you to connect to any website depending on which provider you're using. So to sum it up for some of you who don't understand, basically you are using your network to connect to a private network to connect to sites instead of using your own network to connect to sites. And if your firewall blocks sites, then your VPN will connect you to those sites. I'm going to show you a couple of the best VPN service providers. First one we have is Viper VPN. It's supposedly the world's fastest VPN and it is a premium so you have to buy it. The next one I'm going to show you is Ytopia. This one is another premium. This one is Pure VPN, another premium VPN. Pro XPN. This one is actually said to be really good, but this one is a premium. Cyber Ghost, this one is free, but you only have one gigabyte of internet each month. Next one is Spot Flux. This one used to be called Raptor VPN, and they used to have it where you could just sign up on the website. But now you have to download the application and make your account through the application. So I'm suggesting if you're trying to unblock a website at your school or library, you need to download the application when you're home if you don't have. Uh, administrator access at the library or school download it at home and then make the account through the application at home and then sign in through point to point tunnel practical which is PPTP and I'll show you later how to do that this one is called security kiss this one's another one you have to download this one is actually pretty good I've used it on Windows before this one is called your free VPN this one is totally free and you do not have to download anything all you gotta do is sign up and they will send you your password in an email this one is called Tor, this one is actually a really good one you sign up and you can point to point tunnel proctal and you don't have to download anything and you can go premium and buy it now I'm gonna show you how to connect to the VPN through point-to-point -to -point tunneling proc tool. This is assuming you've already made an account and you can connect through it. You've already downloaded the application, you've got an account all made. You can connect if you're using Windows and you can connect through any other operating system. I'm only going to show how to connect on Windows 
and I'll put the link in the description for Linux and Mac. Those aren't too hard to connect on, but most schools are running Windows XP or Windows 7 now, and the, mo the easiest way to connect to a VPN is you pull up your Internet Explorer, and you will go to Settings, and you go to Internet Options. Now, if you're running Internet Explorer 8, uh, you just have to find settings, and you can find Internet options the same place. You would go to connections, and then you would hit add VPN. See, I have my VPN right here. And you hit add, then you would type in pptp, and then dot whatever the site is that you're using the VPN off. So, let's say Spotflux. Dot com. Usually, if you buy one, they'll send it to you in an email for the point to point telling proctal link, or you, you know, you could search it to find it. And then you would just name it whatever you want, you hit next, and you would type in your username and password, then you would hit connect. Log in. Now my IP address is changed, I have a different IP address. If you want to know what your external IP address, your IPv6, then you can go on Google and type in what is my IP. If you want to know what your IPv4 is, you can go to the search bar in your start bar if you're on Windows 7 or you can just find the command prompt and pull it up and type in IP config and then see it'll tell me I'm connected to spotflex.net now there is another way to do this on Windows you can go to your network settings and you can go to control panel then you can go to network and sharing center then you can just go right here hit set up a new connection or network and then it'll take you to the same steps. So, and that is that.